this video, we're talking about evaluating expressions. And what we mean by evaluating is just plugging in values that we've been given for the variables or constants that we have in our expression. So this is an expression here. We have negative x minus 2 times the quantity negative m plus n. And we've been given values for x, m, and n. So when we say evaluate the expression, we just mean plug in the values we've been given for the variables and constants that we have in our expression. One thing to note about the way that we describe values in this expression, in general, any values like x or y, we call those variables. Any other letters that we have in our expression that are not like x and y, but for example, are like a, b, m, n, things like that, those are usually called unknowns, unknowns. And then the other thing we're going to have, other than variables and unknowns, are just whole numbers like this negative 2 we have in here, and those are going to be constants. So we can describe things that way. So for example, in this first expression, we have the variable x, and we have the unknowns m and n. So when we evaluate the expression and plug in the values we've been given for the variable x and the unknowns m and n, we have to be really careful with our signs because notice here in our expression, we have a negative x. We need to keep this negative sign, but we also need to keep this negative sign here for x. So we're gonna write this negative sign down here. Then we're gonna put parentheses around our x value and then we're gonna plug in negative one for x. So we keep both negative signs. Then we have a minus two and then here are parentheses around negative m plus n. For negative m, again, we need to keep this negative sign and this negative sign. So we'll have a negative, negative 2 when we put parentheses around the m and we plug in this negative 2 value for m. And then we want to plug in negative 3 for n. So we'll say plus and then in parentheses, negative 3. And now that we have everything plugged in, it's just a matter of order of operations. We want to go ahead and do the values inside our parentheses first. So we'll do the values inside these parentheses here. A negative negative 2, that tells us we're taking the opposite of negative 2, which we know is a positive 2. And we know that also because we can cancel every two negative signs to get a positive. And then we have a plus negative 3. Those are different signs. There's only one negative sign. So this turns out to be a negative 3 or just minus 3. And then we have a negative negative 1 or the the opposite of negative 1. We can cancel those two negative signs to get a positive, and we have 1 minus. Now we're going to simplify the value inside our parentheses, so we'll get 1 minus 2 times 2 minus 3 is a negative 1. And then if we take this over here, we'll multiply the 2 by the negative 1. 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2, so we get 1 minus a negative 2, or canceling these negative signs, they become positive. 1 plus 2 is going to be equal to a positive 3, and this is the value we get when we evaluate the expression given these values for the variable and the constants. So now let's look at this example where we have x minus y times the quantity negative a plus x. We know that x is negative 2, y is 3, and a is negative 4. So we're just going to be plugging in these values again. So plugging in a negative 2 for x, we have x out in front here, so we'll get a negative 2. And then we have minus y here we know is 3, so we have 3 times the quantity here, negative a plus x. We have a is negative 4, but we also have this negative sign, so we'll say a negative, negative 4. And then plus x, we know x is negative 2, so we'll say plus negative 2. We can bring this negative 2 outside of the parentheses, so we'll get negative 2, and then minus a positive 3 times the quantity here, negative, negative 4, that becomes positive 4, and then plus a negative 2 becomes just a minus 2. Now we'll get negative 2 minus 3 times the quantity 4 minus 2, which is 2. That'll give us negative 2 minus 3 times 2 is 6. And then negative 2 minus 6 is going to give us a negative 8. And that'll be the answer we get when we evaluate this expression, given these values for the variables and the unknown.